This is my son, Jarrell Nuret Davis. We're not supposed to bury our kids. Our kids are supposed to bury us. He was murdered December the 2nd, 2006. I gave Governor O'Malley a shorty program this November 28th, 2006. My son was murdered four days after Governor O'Malley got the program. This was the program, Self-Help Organization for the Redevelopment and Reeducation of, of the Young. This is not a black program. This is an, it's an inclusive racial movement. All right. This is my plan and ours. I gave you social. I gave you economic, political, medical, and environmental. I did my own funding. I did my own funding. I didn't need nobody's money. I had my own funding. All right. And I gave you the political right here. And this was the political. I gave you the political from 1986, the war on drugs, all right? What black Americans and African Americans can do for each other. I gave you that program and y'all locked me up in 1986 because I wanted to end the war on drugs, all right? That's a jailhouse diary from 1986, North Chicago, Illinois, June 1986. I was showing you the people like Bruce Miller that was buying drugs because that's who I used to sell drugs to, Bruce Miller. Yeah. Lunch. Beef barbecue. I came to Baltimore and opened up a barbecue stand. Like I said, 1986. Fast forward. I had a shorty program. I had funding for it. I had $15,000 in the state of Illinois took it. It was for the youth, for the jobs, for the youth. June 14th. That's my mother's birthday. All right. That's Rob Fix. That's my producer from Letters Design. That's December 2007. I went home on vacation. I came back on probation. You held me for 186 days illegally. You kidnapped me. That's me at 1402 Lochner. All right. 1402 Lochner. That's my lawyer, Mr. Bailey. All right. My lawyer participated in this fraud. That's Governor Blagojevich. A grand jury, county jail, county jail, shorties, Judge Boris. See, you had all this, and it was notarized. President Obama asked for an investigation. Lisa Madigan, Patrick Fitzgerald. Y'all kidnapped a whistleblower, and you stuck with that lie. Because like I said, this was dedicated to my son. That's Senator Ben Cardin's. Federal agency, please do not hesitate to contact me. That's Senator Ben Cardin's. However, I am forwarding your correspondence to Governor of Illinois Blagojevich. Thank you for contacting your office concerning your son's death. All right. So you had this in 2007. You had this in 2007. That's the diary from Jadale House 2007. That's Mayor Moxley. All right, 2016. That's Congressman Cummings. He didn't had it ever since the beginning. This is for me from 1985. This is what I used to be. And you holding me to what I used to be. I'm not that person. I'm a, father, I'm a product of my grandfather, Deacon James Davis. You feel me? November 13th, 1976. I came in straight out of the Illinois Department of Corrections. I changed my hustle. I didn't change my, I changed my life and my, my residency. I sell barbecue. Like the jailhouse diary said, barbecue. I don't sell drugs no more. I'm not that hustler, but I still got hustle in me. I went home on vacation. I came back on probation on December the 24th, 2007, because I was making this movie. It was about racism, 101 for white people. And I told y'all about it. That's Governor Ho O'Malley, and that's my store on Falls Road. That's Congressman Cummings. That's uh, Chief Hyatt. And that's the IRS, because y'all took money from me while I was locked up making this movie. That's the Department of Justice, and that's my Department of Justice ID number. Vic Carter, Mary Mubala, Kai Jackson, y'all knew all about this. I was policing the police. And I was policing the police to whom it may concern. All right.
That's Johnny Oleski. I just left his office. Cause like I said, I want everything to belong to me. Aisha Khan, we're going to talk about campaign financing violations. We're going to talk about how she bought her seat on the Democratic Baltimore County Democratic Central Committee. She paid for that seat. She got to produce some uh, some checks because I did parties for her when she was running for office. And you're going to have to produce everything, too. Yeah. A criminal enterprise. Keep the citizens informed. That's your weakest link because you're going to have to turn over the evidence that I gave them. I was kidnapped by the state. I was supposed to be in Las Vegas, Nevada. I wasn't even supposed to be here. Governor Hogan. Dear Governor Hogan, I am writing you as part of the constitutional right to address grievances of elected officials and closes the petition signed and submitted by the supporters of Shorty. Governor Hogan had, had this for a while. Al Retmer, I was insured. Brian Frost. Governor Hogan, like I said, a federal and a state audit. Now you can go to Warren Brown and Malcolm Ruff is a witness because we're talking about crime and justice because it ain't going to be just us in 2020. That's Mike Tyson. That's my grandmother. Like I said, I'm supposed to be in Vegas. I'm supposed to be hanging out in Vegas. Ask Mike Tyson. He met me a couple times because like I said, I'm supposed to be in Vegas. My grandmother know Mike Tyson. The Shorty Program, Economic, Political, Medical, and Environmental. Mary Washington knew all about this. That's Barack Obama asking for an investigation. That's Mayor Stephanie Rollins Blake. That's Mosby. Yeah, that's Pew. And these are the supporters of Shorties asking for an investigation. And none of our elected officials is doing it. That's Mayor Moxley from Waukegan, Illinois. And that's Governor Hogan and Al Retmer. Because like I said, I was insured. A man on the grill. We're going to address racism 2020, 2021. Now, I got a medical emergency on Monday. I got to go get my heart taken care of. I'll be at Sinai Hospital. But when I get out of Sinai Hospital and I get back on my feet, 2021 session, Governor Hogan, Brian Frosch, Speaker Jones, Sidnor, Corey McRae, Nick Mosby, the Maryland Black Caucus, Stephanie Smith, y'all got to address my kidnapping. Y'all got to address the fact that I was making a movie about the Democratic Party and the money that you make off the war on drugs. Kwasi and Fume. Harry Spikes the Third, Gene w Wiskowski. Y'all got to turn over that evidence to President Biden because President Obama asked for an investigation and nobody did it. This is a conclusion of a trial. I'm supposed to be compensated for my losses. That's the Fifth Amendment. The First Amendment say I got a right to protest, freedom of speech, freedom of assembly. Scott Schellenberger kidnapped me. Michael Waller kidnapped me because you want to hide the money that y'all make behind the war on drugs. N62528, State of Illinois versus Dwayne Davis. We come in full circle in 2021. Grand jury or Supreme Court? I ain't Mike Tyson. I'm Muhammad Ali. Mama said knock you out. I know what Jim Crow looked like. My grandfather taught me about that. Told you, November the 13th, it's my lucky number. 13's a lucky number. That's Congressman Cummings. All right, that's Lieutenant Governor Brown, because we're talking about a Governor O'Malley's mom machine. That's Congressman Cummings. That's me in the Bill of Rights at the Constitution Center. That's me at the, yeah, in Philadelphia. Yeah, I took the toilet to Philadelphia. And it's all about Governor O'Malley and the money he make off of black bodies. That's Tawanda Jones. That's me in Washington, D.C. with the traveling toilet. We're going to take the toilet to the Supreme Court because I applied for Martin Luther King's job. And I'm going to show you the black faces selling out the black community. I'm going to show you leaders of a beautiful struggle. Adam Jackson, Kwame Rose, all these young black activists that's just in the activism for the money. And you can go to him. He's been watching me do this for a while. I take a lot of pictures. It's 
the art of getting money. I changed my product. I ain't changed my hustle. I work for the community. That's my lawyer. That's Rob Fix. This is Racism 101, your prison industry.